Okay, so I'm all winterized. I have a morning face going on. I woke up at 6.30 and headed out immediately to uh, Walmart because I thought that was the best time to go since, since the whole entire parking lot is just empty. Um, I had to return something. You just decided to sit on me? Yeah, I'm gonna cuddle, come here. Um, so anyway, I had an oil, like a vegetable oil that I bought November 19th. Today is December 5th, yeah. So not too long ago, also in the 30 day range of returning things, even though I think Walmart returns stuff within, I don't know, two years even, right? So I go up to the lady and I'm like, I wanna return this and she's like, why? And I was like, because the seal wasn't broken when I opened it um, and it should be broken. I guess it was a manufacturer's issue or whatever, right? So she's like, but you bought it on November 19th. And I was like, yeah. And I had to think of a lie right away. And I was like, yeah, because I had like this much of my other oil left and I wanted to use that up before I open a new one, which is a lie. I just didn't want to go back to Walmart. I just don't like to step inside Walmart all that often. So why give me a hassle? I returned the oil, got my stuff done. And now I'm waiting for other stores to open because it's only well, it's 7.19 in the morning. And I'm waiting for another store to open. I want to go to Trader Joe's and Target. And I also want to mail off my winner's um, prize, uh, the Balm Cosmetics. And I have to mail off a Christmas present to Canada and a card and get more stamps. So today is like, get stuff done kind of day. So uh, yeah, I think I might now go to my favorite coffee place um, because that will waste time. And then when I get my drink, maybe some other stores will be opened. Um... I may be overdressed, maybe over exaggerating, but I'm a cold person actually, so I better stay warm with my bum warmers on in my car. Okay, bye. I'm just opening up a parcel that I got in the mail from Wando. She is a leather goods maker based out of San Francisco. Um, I will have a blog post coming soon about um, all of the products and going into more detail, but like holy Moses, check out that orange packaging with those white bows. I don't even want to unwrap it. It is super pretty. So she was super generous and sent over a ton of stuff for me to review and check out on my blog and on my social and everything. And look at these little charms, aren't they just adorable? My goodness. So the next day we actually met with Swan, um, Lauren and I did. And I will show you guys that in the next upcoming clip. I mean, seriously, the attention to detail is just unreal. Everything is beautifully packaged and wrapped really carefully and smells delicious. I love the smell of leather and I'm excited to see how soft the leathers are. Oh my goodness, it's so buttery and pebbly. So this is in the color pumpkin. They also have a black and ruby shade. Oops, I don't wanna break it. I don't know how to open it. Oh, okay, maybe this way. Wow. And then this is also, oh wow, okay, so that's the pricing of the crossbody and the drop-in wallet in the entire bundle. You save when you get the bundle. Um, this is what I like. It's like one of those card holders. It was actually on my wardrobe wish list, um, one of these. Oh my goodness, it's so nice and really well done. Wow. Gotta support local. This is just fantastic. Oh my goodness. And here are some adorable little bag charms, a little giraffe and a, I think a donkey or a horse. It's super cute. Like even this, it's so gorgeous. So I'm gonna open this one.
Alfie, what do you think of the purse? Are you a purse dog? How'd you get in there? Are you posing? <laughs> you're a really sweet boy. What you doing? Do you like swan doll purses? I think you're very sweet in there. Hey? <laughs> Greatest boy, you're so patient. I gotta turn off this music and um, get ready to head out. In my previous clip, I was unboxing a purse, a clutch, a little wallet, and then these thingies. Oh, from Swan and Doe, no, Swan Doe, sorry. She's a San Francisco-based company who makes um, leather goods. So I've decided to start using my purse. Okay, I've been in the process of like moving stuff upstairs. That's all beauty. And those are some shoes that I still have to put away. I swapped it over to the pink side for today. It's kind of, it's called almond, but um, it's, I think it's pumpkin and almond. And the other two colors that they have, or one color which is reversible, is the black and the ruby. So Lauren and I, as you guys probably know her already, she's my buddy. Her website is pinkonthecheek.com. I will link everything down below once I'm editing this and like, remembering what text to put down, especially the Swando website, which is just swando.com. Anyway, uh, we are heading out to Palo Alto today to grab lunch with Swan, which is exciting. And maybe I will vlog. I don't know if I'll be doing the voice thing, but I'll just do like a pan around. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to Oren's Hummus Shop. Oren? Something like that. And it's on University Avenue, Palo Alto, which is like a sweet little area, which is the same spot, same road as one of my favorite coffee shops called Blue Bottle, but it's at H Hannah House or Hannah House. It's a uh, German, I think. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, got my makeup done and ready to head out because later on in this evening, Lauren and I are also heading out to another event together. We're going to Redwood City. I don't know if that's north of San Francisco or south of San Francisco, but it's like bordering on San Francisco. So we're heading up there to Poshmark's fifth birthday party. And I'm a user of Poshmark. I haven't sold anything, haven't put anything up there, but I'm going as Lauren's plus one. So that's what's going on. Um, anyway, I'm going to think, I think I'm going to put on a uh, jacket too. I don't know if this is too much fluff, but. But I want to put this on top of this. Is that too much fluff? I guess I won't get your answer till later, but I'm going to wear it. And maybe it'll be too much fluff, but I'll be like a fluffy marshmallow who's super warm. Okay. Uh, that was so weird. Okay. I gotta let you go now. Bye. Fluffy marshmallow getting ready to go in the car. <laughs> okay. I'm a cold. Oof, whoa. I'm a cold person naturally. But I'm like roasting right now on this. Okay, unplug this phone. This is my recycling that I still need to take out, so ignore that. All right. Okay, I made it here with four minutes to spare. I'm supposed to meet them at uh, 12 o'clock. I just parked around the corner because the main street, um, always is booked up with the parking. Okay, I'm just checking to see if they were messaging me, but they weren't. Uh, all right, off I go. Maybe I'll show you a little bit around Palo Alto.
came with a cookie so change of plans today whoops minus the crazy hair I um, just finished up at Santana Row and um, I was trying on some holiday dresses for a blog post that I was gonna do because I'm working with uh, Santana Row anyway I was just in oh great there's somebody parking next to me I was gonna go to Redwood City we weren't really in the mood to go so we canceled lunch with Swan was amazing. Actually, we didn't go to lunch. We went to Blue Barrel Coffee, um, Hannah House in Palo Alto. Sorry, forgot there for a minute. Um, anyway, I went to Santana Row quickly after that and uh, took some photos for a blog post that I was going to do. Now I'm eating my supper, which is a Trader Joe's salad. It looks like coleslaw to be honest, but it's really good. It's like, I don't know what kind of noodles these are, but the dressing's good. I'm turning on my computer so that I can get that blog post up by tomorrow hopefully because I don't have anything going live tomorrow and I kind of want to put a lot of more holiday stuff on the blog um, so that's what I'm doing anyway um, I got some stuff in the mail so um, I will maybe unbox that after supper it's from Octoly I think that's how you say it anybody could sign up uh, and get like free product it's pretty awesome Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to browse the internet while I eat my supper because I haven't been online forever all day long. And, um, yeah. Okay, so I said I was going to show you what I got in the mail um, from Octoly. I threw the packaging away because I wanted the space really cleared out. I still got to clean up that stuff. But, YSL, I think all you got to do is just do like Instagram posts for them. But I haven't tried it out. It's kind of a corally color they had all kinds to choose from and showed how many um, they had left and stuff I think you need 10,000 Instagram followers before signing up with them and then you got to pitch them I, an idea and I said I'd rather gold in my stock and then coal in my stock in this year so anyway my other item that I got actually I got two others where's the other thing it's over there I think um, I got a shampoo and conditioner but I'm not gonna use that yet I have to post it within 30 days of receiving the product um, and you also have to tell them like product sent from Octoly and my very first Charlotte Tilbury product this is dented right there but uh, it's the legendary party eyes and it's in a Christmas bobble thingy Christmas ball oh how cute look how tiny the little mascara is and I like the eyelashes in there it's cute bedroom black legendary eyeliner uh, handy but I don't use eyeliner okay I use eyeliner more than I would um, um, an eyeshadow but I was really into it because I saw the uh, mascara and I wanted to try out the mascara by her and anyway I will be posting that on Instagram really soon probably before this vlog goes up I don't know depends on how creative I get with my flat lays lately so um, I think I'm gonna call it a night here it's seven o'clock I want to Still work on that Santana Row blog post. Um, have it up tomorrow, which is Wednesday, December 6th. Um, oh, sorry, plug just fell. I was plugging in my phone because it was completely dead from snapping like 150 photos at Santana Row. I know. Got out of hand. This is my um, Trader Joe's Christmas tree haul thing. Is $4.99 each and I picked up two um, sets of them so it made it a like nicer bigger vase looking I'm, I swear that's they do that on purpose oh it's really bright here I said I was gonna go but I wanted to show you guys that that's really cute and I can't wait to put it in my flat lay soon um, with my fake snow super cute and I'll talk to you in the morning I'm gonna be home all day because our place is getting inspected for the yearly inspection thing so I'll be home while people come in and I glare at them, be like, take off your shoes in my house. Anyway, whatever. I will let you guys go. Oh, God. Oh. We're having rants about McDonald's and how much I love the bacon hash brown burger they got there now.
McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's, bring back the triple sec milkshakes. Bring in some root beer to the USA McDonald's. And what else was it? Jeez, get rid of them waffle fries in Canada. I'm coming. Oh, no, they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> This is my cheese stick, by the way. I'm chatting with Ashley because we haven't caught up in, like, two months or more. Yeah, it's been too long. Has it been that long? It's been a long time since Casey Neinstadt stopped vlogging. Is that what? <laughs> Has it been? Stop. Somebody was uh, like, you're from Canada? Let me hear your accent. And I was like, no. <laughs> but they were like, um, you're from the east coast of Canada. Let me hear your accent. You don't have, a, you don't have one. And I was like, I don't know how to put it on when, like, when you're talking to people, right? Like, I don't know how to do that. So, yes, I'm wearing the same sweater as I did yesterday. I was just FaceTiming with Ashley. It is now almost 6 o'clock at night, and I've been home all day. I didn't go out in the car. I like to go out at least once a day because today was inspection day for our unit, um, but they didn't come. So I raced over in a fury to the front office and I was like, I thought inspection was going to happen today. Why didn't it? And I was thinking about getting angry, but then I was like, I live here. They could easily just kick us out. So I decided to be the polite Canadian. I could rant a little bit more about it, but what is that going to get me? Where is that going to get me, you know? So I'm not going to do that. Um, instead, we are going to go to a hockey game. Uh, San Jose Sharks. We have to support local, you know, the local team. But they're playing against Ottawa Senators. And Alfie is named after one of the Ottawa Senators players. If you guys know Daniel Alfredson, I think he's now retired as a hockey player. But he was, Alfie was named after Daniel Alfredson. I'm going to wear my Ottawa Senators jersey. <laughs> See that? That's my Zara jeans falling apart once again. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I spend the money on Zara jeans? I don't know. I think that because they're so comfortable on me, they fit me so well, but they fall apart. I think I got these when Jody came down to visit. It was. That was in October. And that's like a fake hole with a fake patch. And now I've got a real hole. Got my Canadian mittens and my hat ready to go. in the morning ready to go got my iced coffee in me already and shortly I'm gonna head down to Muji San Jose and I'm just like hanging out here and get some things for my pal back in Newfoundland she wants me to bring back some things for her from Muji the store doesn't open till 10 30 I'm just checking my outfit see if it looks good I need a flu shot also I actually kind of like how this looks even just draped not like around me hmm. see this is from Anthropology a couple of years ago. I think I'm gonna end the vlog today because it's the end of the week and I don't vlog on weekends for the most part. But maybe I'll take you over to Muji and see what's on the go there. To show you guys what I picked up from my friend. So, okay, so I'm trying to figure out what foundation to bring to Newfoundland with me. I know it's total first world problems because a lot of the foundations I really love, but they're my self-tanned color and obviously, <clears throat> I'm not going to be self-tanned when I'm in Newfoundland and right now I have a mixture of the Dior Forever Skin Foundation mixed with the Burberry Cashmere um, Foundation and I really like the finish of it. I did one pump of the Dior and then like a little tiny squirt of the Burberry and it looks really nice I think. And I also used a hair mask in my hair for the first time in ages. It's a Aveda one and I really love Aveda. Anyway. Let's go downtown San Jose, shall we? So I almost had a panic attack because I thought I put my cell phone in the washer when I was doing my bed sheet. Luckily, I did not. This is my phone that I use for phoning uh, and maps. And then this one right here, it's the Google Pixel. I still need to switch over the SIM card. Anyway, uh, I just got back from Muji to grab some stuff for my friend from Newfoundland. She wanted me to pick up some things for her. Tote bags that are foldable, collapsible thingies. And they were on sale. Plus, she also got an additional 10% off because she was like an insider. But they were also 30% off at the register. Yeah, and they're super lightweight, so easy to travel. They're going back to Canada for her. 
And um, now I'm just watching some YouTube videos. My fingers are kind of cold, so I'm like I'm wrapped up in a blanket still. I think I'm going to end the vlog here and then edit it as well this afternoon and maybe post the video. I don't know when. I feel like there's so many videos going live this month because everybody's doing vlogmas and I'm not doing vlogmas. I'm just doing like daily vlogging, but then compiling it into um, one video. Um, and I feel like, I don't know, I'm super addicted to that. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. And uh, I know some people are because some people are commenting being like, hey, I like your vlogs. And I'm like, thank you. Did I say that I got my flu shot? My goodness. It's so strange living here in the United States because um, you got to do your research before you go anywhere medically. Um, I thought that Target would have covered with my health insurance, but they don't. So I was like, okay, where did I go last year? And I thought it was CVS, but I think it's Walgreens. Before I went, I actually called. I was going to ask them if it was covered. Their phone line was busy. Or... So I hung up and did uh, my errands and grabbed some lunch. And then I went over to Walgreens and I was like, hey, can I make sure that uh, my flu shot is covered by insurance before going through with this? And because uh, otherwise it's like 50 bucks or something. I'm like, oh. anyway. Got my flu shot, got the red band-aid from Walgreens. Now I'm good to go. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this random weekly vlog and I will probably pick it up again next week. We'll see, I don't know, because it's gonna be kind of closer to Christmas. I don't know how many people are gonna really watch. I might take a break between now and uh, after Christmas, be back in the new year. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I vlog next week, I don't know. But until then, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.